The Conservative mayoral candidate Boris Johnson was mobbed as he campaigned during a St George's Day event at Leadenhall Market in the city today. And with just eight days until Londoners go to the polls, there's everything to play for. Also today, it was the turn of Mr Johnson to answer the questions you've been asking as part of our collaboration with the video sharing website, YouTube. I'd like to know what the next mayor of London is going to do about um, crime on the, on the transit system, on the buses, on the tube, um, on trains. Very concerned about that. OK. I'm going to double the size of the safer transport teams uh, by reallocating some of the mayor's publicity budget. So we have another 440 uniform PCSOs on the rowdier bus routes. I'm going to take away the privilege of free travel from the minority of kids who are abusing it and scaring other passengers. And I'm going to change the rules of carriage on the tube uh, so that you no longer have the experience late at night of sitting down opposite someone who's swinging from a can of lager and behaving in a way that is threatening and intimidating. Hello there. Um, I have uh, just one question um, to uh, the new mayoral candidate for London. Why aren't there more bike lanes in central London? Because we haven't yet had a mayor who's going to work with the boroughs to get more bike lanes out there. And everybody knows that one of the reasons people don't cycle more freely in London is because they're, they're nervous. And that's why I'm going to have the bike hire scheme, the valid bike hire scheme, which will encourage people to get on the bikes, and also I'm going to work with the boroughs to put in more cycle lanes. Yo, my name Yo. is Matthew, and um, <laughs> I've got a question for the next uh, Mayor of London. How uh, would you reduce carbon dioxide emissions? Get back to real life. Yeah. Matthew, the best way to reduce carbon emissions in London is to get us all to produce less in our homes. 44% of London emissions come from domestic boilers, from central heating, what we've got to do is have insulation schemes subsidised by the energy companies so that we have council tax rebates for putting in really serious uh, insulation schemes. And that is the way to reduce London's uh, CO2 output by a huge amount. Yeah, Boris, first question. Seriously, Boris. <laughs> Seriously, you're going for this. And um, next question is... What kind of things do you have that you think will appeal to ethnic minorities and ethnic minority communities in London? Because um, seen by some of your past statements, it doesn't look like you've got much to offer. I'm going to have an administration in London that will fully reflect the fantastic, wonderful diversity of London. And I'm very happy to say that I've got advisors and supporters from across London, from every conceivable uh, ethnic group, uh, religion, and I'm very proud of that. Hello Boris, this is a question for you. My name's Joss and I live in Clapton. Um, as the MP for Henley, what other, what else do you know about boroughs beginning with H, such as Hackney, Haringey, Harrow? Do you have any experience? I, I live in the London borough of Islington, one of the poorest boroughs in the United Kingdom, by the way, and I've lived in London on and off for all of my life. I love London and know it well. And, you know, not uh, only does the present mayor have a monopoly of love of London or interest in London. As a 17-year-old, I love how I can get free bus transport in London, saving me roughly £200 a year. But the media and older generations often criticise it, so that they should abandon it due to graffiti and bad behaviour. I want to know... Will the free bus travel carry on for under 18? We're going to take it away from the minority of kids who abuse it and we're going to allow them to earn it back through community service under a scheme called Payback London. So yes, the free travel for under 18s will continue, but we're just going to make sure that kids don't abuse it and they stop tyrannising people on the upper decks of buses. Hello, my name is Tom and I live and work in London and I have um, a question for the mayoral candidates. Um, basically about uh, transport in London. I uh, really wanted to know whether there's any plans to improve uh, the transport in general, the way the traffic flows. You've got the number one thing you've got to do is find the roadworks and the utilities companies that dig up the roads, leave huge holes and leave them unattended for days on end. We're going to get the power to issue fixed penalty notices uh, for people to do that and I think that will be a very clear incentive for them to get going. That's the number one cause of, of uh, traffic jams at the moment in London. I just want to ask Boris Johnson if he could put lots more police on the street. You've got to take the chair of the MPA, uh, the Metropolitan Police Authority, and you've got to work with the police to lift the burden of bureaucracy that's currently keeping them from doing what they want to do, which is looking after us. My question is this for Boris, and how can he demonstrate that he's competent enough to really run such a big city as London? 
Keith Reilly, let me tell you that I'm the only candidate at this election who's had any experience of driving down costs in the private sector. I have sacked plenty of people in my time. Uh, I know what it means to make economies and take tough decisions. And let me tell you, if you excluded people from holding high municipal office uh, because they've never held it before, then you would never have had uh, Margaret Thatcher and you would never have had Gordon Brown or Tony Blair or indeed Ken Livingston. I want to ask if you become London Mayor, are you going to take your job as a politician more seriously and stay away from Have I Got News For You? I haven't been invited back on to Have I Got News For You and I am going to work like blazes for the people of London from May the 2nd to deliver better value for the people of London and to make sure that our streets and the public space for which the Mayor is directly responsible is safer. I want to ask Boris, when is he going to get a haircut? And if he wins the election, is he going to get a mohawk? That would be pretty cool, you know, the first mayor with a bit of fashion sense. I think a mohawk would be, you know, not a bit, it would certainly be more efficient, it would certainly take less time to... People would stop complaining about my hair if I had a mohawk. I think they'd be so stupefied they'd give up their constant twittering. And you can find details about all the candidates for the City Hall elections on our website, bbc.co.uk slash London. And all the YouTube mayoral interviews will be on YouTube's London Mayor channel.